here on the show. Obviously, a huge week for NASA. Just yesterday, Bob and Doug touched down, or I should say splashed down, um, in what appears to have been a completely successful mission from start to finish. How big a milestone is this? It is a huge milestone. You think about just what we've accomplished. We haven't done this in 48 years as far as having a splashdown goes. And we did it with a commercial enterprise for the first time in history, launched humans into space and safely brought them back. It's really a new era in the, our space age. And that's what we're looking towards. The president has told us to get to the moon in preparation to go to Mars. And so it's really three domain, one campaign, three domains. Low Earth orbit, which is where Bob and Doug have been, the moon in preparation to go to Mars, and then going to Mars, which is what Perseverance mission is. It was a pre, it is a precursor mission to astronauts going to Mars in the 2030s. So, as you mentioned, just in the last few days, NASA has also launched the rover Perseverance on an Atlas rocket. How is that going so far? It's going great. Uh, we really. We had some telemetry challenges when it first got up there where we have a deep space uh, receiver listening to things, even our spacecraft that have gone past Pluto. And so it's very sensitive. And so when our perseverance came around from an eclipse, it was behind the Earth and its solar panels first got the, the sun, we turned on the, the transceiver and it was a little too strong. But uh, again, our folks worked that out and uh, everything is, as we call it, nominal right now. Talk to us about your goals now. Y you know, obviously it's getting humans into space, then to the moon and then to Mars. You know, how does this play out for you? NASA used to be the folks that designed, built, launched and operated rockets and spacecraft. We want now to be a customer, one of many customers to the commercial market. And we hope there are, you know, that we're trying to drive innovation. We're trying to increase competition and uh, reduce costs. And uh, to SpaceX's credit, to Elon Musk's credit, he's done that and he's helped us. He, he, they have been a great partner. And so with that, you know, we are now using reusable rockets and reusable capsules. The president said, we have to get to the moon by 2024. We've created the Artemis program, and we're gonna send the first woman and next man to the moon. But it's really in preparation to learn more things so that we can go to Mars, which is really, that's a tough row, And it, but we're gonna do it. And there's a lot of concerns about radiation, the time it takes to get there, food, you know, so food supplies, and, and many more things. So we're working on all of it. So it's really one campaign, three domains. This uh, robot that will be going to Mars is the most advanced robot ever, as I understand it, to be launched into space. What exactly will the robot be doing? Gosh, you know, Perseverance is, uh, it's about 10 by nine feet and about seven feet tall. And there are about seven experiments or demonstration projects on it. We're looking for my ancient microbial life. And we sent our scientists out to the Pilbara Outback in Australia to look for signatures of what we ought to be looking for. So we've taken all that data, put it into the computer on the rover, and it's going to be looking for those signatures. And we're going to a place called the Jezero Crater, which uh, is about the size of Lake Tahoe. So it's going to be looking around there for this ancient microbial matter. With the advent of the public and private partnerships that you have now with SpaceX, Boeing, Amazon, is this a is this a new kind of space race and how does that space race play out? You know, the space race may be a co competition between our our new entrants into the marketplace and we want that competition. I don't think there's a space race with China which folks have have suggested considering we've already landed you know, on Mars many times and also landed men on the moon. But, uh, but with that, we want to continue to lead in space because who leads in space leads the world. I want to end by saying, you know, this is, NASA was set up to help 
the human condition of all mankind. And that's what we're trying to do.